Okay, right here is a 1979 O&K RH-75 hydraulic front shovel. The RH-75 was first introduced by O&K in late 1975 as a replacement for the older RH-60. Available from O&K in either front shovel or backhoe configuration, depending on what the customer preferred, the RH-75 was designed to swing a rock bucket ranging anywhere from 5.2 to 8.5 cubic yard capacity in backhoe configuration and swing a bull clam ranging anywhere from 10 to 13 cubic yard capacity in front shovel configuration. On the back of the stick you can see where the two bucket cylinders are located and you can see where they connect to the back of the bucket to curl the bull clam in or out. And take notice that both of these cylinders are mounted up inside of the stick. This similar design was also used on some older Lee Bear and D-Mag shovels. The design itself was supposed to protect the cylinders more and also allow for the bull clam to curl back further. If you look up top, you can see where the hydraulic lines run down inside of the stick to power the bucket cylinders. Here you can see the two big stick cylinders. And right here you can see where the two boom cylinders pin to the superstructure on the machine. And take note that both of the boom cylinders pin to the inside of the shovel boom. Here you can see the two independent travel motors, one on each side, and this is what will propel each individual track. And here you can see where the hydraulic lines run from the motors through the car body of the machine and then up to the hydraulic system to power the motors. Thirty-one inch crawler shoes were standard for the RH-75. However, ONK also offered optional wider thirty-nine inch crawler shoes depending on the type of ground conditions that the machine would be working in. This machine has a top travel speed of 1.2 miles per hour. And to help give you an idea of the size of an RH-75, this machine measures 18 feet 3 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 18 feet 11 inches wide. Now, let's go up on top of the RH-75. As you can see, this RH-75 is equipped with a raised operator's cab to boost the operator up higher so he could see over the top of a truck when he'd be loading. And you can see the rock guard which runs over the top of the operator's cab to protect the operator from any rocks, dirt, or falling debris when the machine is in operation. Now unfortunately, as you can see, the cab door on this machine is locked, so I will not be able to take you inside. However, 
By looking through the window right here, you can get a good overview of what the inside of the cab on an RH-75 looks like. The two joysticks that you see out in front of the operator's seat to the right and left side control all the digging functions of the front shovel out in front, or if the machine were set up as a backhoe. Directly out in front of the operator's seat on the floor are two foot pedals which control the travel functions on this machine. And off to the right side of the operator's seat, you can see the control tower with all the gauges to monitor this machine when it's in operation. And from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running an RH-75. Here you can get a good overview of the top deck on this machine. The RH-75 is what you call a twin-engine excavator. And one of the benefits to a twin-engine excavator is, if one of these engines were to break down while this machine were in operation, the operator would still have enough power from the second engine to move the machine to a safe place away from the high wall for repair. Mounted on the back side of each engine house are two Donaldson air intakes and air cleaners, one for each diesel engine. You can see one right here, and the other is on the opposite side. diesel engine on this machine drives two independent self-regulating pumps on each pump drive. The pumps operate under a pressure of 4267 PSI and you can see one set of the hydraulic pumps right down inside of there. On the back of this machine Mounted in between the two engine houses sits a 605 gallon hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here. The RH-75 is powered by twin Cummins NTA-855C inline six-cylinder diesel engines, each developing 357 horsepower to produce a total combined output of 714 horsepower for this machine. This replaced the twin Deutsch engines utilized in the older RH-60. Right here you can see the single hydraulic swing motor on the RH-75 and directly ahead of it, you can see the two swing drum brakes. The main valve blocks on this machine for the front attachment are mounted on the back of the boom. All functions of the attachment feature O and K's automatic double flow system, in which both circuits with four pumps automatically combine their flow when only one movement is actuated by the operator and automatically divide their flow when multiple movements are actuated. The benefit to this is the hydraulic speed for a single attachment function is doubled, which thus fully utilizes hydraulic power. And on the right side of the machine, you can see the two hydraulic oil cooling units. And as you can see, this one has been removed. These coolers are thermostatically controlled. And once the hydraulic oil reaches a temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit, these coolers will kick in to start cooling the oil down on this machine. Right here you can see where the boom pins to the superstructure on the machine. And here you can see all the hydraulic lines 
that run out to power the front shovel attachment in the front. Mounted below each diesel engine on this machine rest a pair of 264 gallon diesel fuel tanks. You can see one right here and the other is on the opposite side. The two tanks supply this machine with a total of 528 gallons of diesel fuel. And from here you can get a good view looking up at one of the Cummins diesel engines. And from here you can get a good view looking at the superstructure on this machine. And on the back top of the machine's counterweight, you can see where it says O and K. ONK also offered the RH-75 with optional electric power for customers who preferred an electric hydraulic machine powered by a single 500 kilowatt squirrel cage induction motor. And on the electric version of this machine, the power cable would connect to the side of the machine's crawler frame. A rather interesting design, unlike other manufacturers which would normally have the power cable for an electric hydraulic excavator connect to the back of the machine's car body. And the overall operating weight of the RH-75 in front shovel configuration, as you see right here, can range anywhere from 142 to 144.3 tons. In backhoe configuration, the RH-75 weighs in anywhere from 145 to 148 and a half tons. The RH-75 turned out to be a very successful machine for ONK, with over 200 units built and sold all around the world. Later on, in 1986, the RH-75 was upgraded to the new C model, which featured many upgrades over the original RH-75. But there she is, a 1979 ONK RH-75.